Okay, hi everyone. So now we continue with this topic, flat slab flow. So as you can see, you can see here the flat slab means the slab is supported by the column only without any uh, beam uh, that connected all this column. So you can see here for the flat slab they have the flat soffit and then the has the constant thickness. So this is called as the flat slab. This flat slab flow is designed based on clause 9.4 Euro code 2. Okay, so for this slide, you can see here we have three types of flat slab. The first one is the flat slab without drop panel or column head. The second one is the flow with the column head only but no drop panel. And then the third one is the flow with drop panel and column head. So now the question is how to decide whether the, we need to provide the flat slab with the or without the drop panel, without the column head. So this, you can see in this slide, I have provided in the sequently, so that you can see here for the first one is if the shear strength or the punching shear strength is sufficient for the flat slab only, so means we can use the flat slab to support all the load. But if the flat slab not sufficient, instead of to make it slab become thicker you can add the column head okay so if the with the additional column head and then the punching is here is still not sufficient to sub and then sorry for the slab still not sufficient to support for the punching shear and then we need to introduce the drop panel so this is the three option that we can use when you design for the flat slab so here you can see here you can see the example so at the left side is the floor with a drop panel or column head and the right side right uh, the picture number two or the right side you can see how people construct so you can see this the circular column with the flat slab so without drop panel and also without the column head okay for the next for this slide you can see that the flat slab has the column head only without drop panel so in the drawing you can see at the left side of the figure and the right side you can see how the the actual uh, flat slab with the column head only in the real structure for the next slide you can see this slab they have the drop panel and also the column head at the left side and the right side you can see how the construct eh? so you can see this consists of the flat slab and then below the flat slab they have the drop panel and then after that they have the column head okay so in this for the uh, slab with the drop panel you can see how they put the reinforcement bar here they have the need to create that we call as the drop okay the drop on the firmwork in order to allow the reinforcement to be put in the drop so you can see under this figure Okay, so this one of the method how to determine the bending moment on the slab. So you can use the software. So from the software, you can get the bending moment at the support means at the location near to the column and also at the middle span or between these two columns. Okay, so now the next step how to determine the, the, the width of the column strip. Okay. So if the dim the drop panel dimension or the width of the drop panel is less than 1 over 3 of LX, LX is the smaller panel, uh, panel dimension. Eh? And then so that if LD less than 1 over 3 of LX, the width of the column strip equal to 1 over 4, width of the smaller panel dimension or 1 over 4 LX. But if the LD uh, higher is compared to the 1 over 3 LX and then width of the column step equal to width of the drop panel. So from this figure, figure 8.11 
and table at point seven, you can see that in you can see in this lab we have the middle strip and also the half of the column strip. Yeah? So width of the half of column strip is L over four with uh, L over four. L is the LX, so LX over four with the no drop. And then how to calculate the moment? First, we can do the frame analysis by using software, or also we can do um, manual calculation by using table 8.7. So in this table, you can see for the we have the column strip, also the middle strip, and then we have the negative moment and positive moment. Okay. So please take note: negative moment is for the middle span, and then positive moment, uh, sorry, and then negative moment at the support positive moment at the middle span so for example if you take the column strip 60% negative moment yeah, and then at the right side so that the middle strip will be the balance 40% because the total cannot more than 100% okay so be equal to 100% so for example for positive moment you take 50% and then at the column strip and then at the middle strip will be 50% as well as you can see from this slide okay so we have four column here the rectangular with the black color and then we have the uh, column strip and middle strip here but in this yoroku 2 they use the short span lx is the long span okay not the short span uh, and then here you can see all the the width of the column strip is depend on the short span in this in this particular slab they use l y okay a is the column strip so all this is column strip and at the middle is the middle strip thank you